Alright, it's day one of the big conference summer trip 2016. It is ungodly early. It is like 5.30 a.m. and we have been up since 2.30 a.m. And now we're just waiting to get on this like crazy big ferry. We're getting to Avalon, which is on Kathleen Island for Galpath 2016. And we even found another astronomer as well too, look. So it's like, oh, it's Tanya. It's broken Tanya. Also, ungodly early in the morning and like, why are you pointing a video camera in my face? <laughs> <laughs> so that will yeah. be the longer side. Yeah. Okay. So maybe so, like 120 miles or something. No, the 100 miles, oh, yes. like 40 miles. miles, and then this is like, oh no, yeah. Oh god, this is how early it is. She's vlogging in a forgotten Pythagorean theorem. <laughs> no! <laughs> but yeah, and I'm, I'm presenting today, which is great. <laughs> I was like, I basically am presenting 12 hours after I woke up this morning. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> about quenching. Apparently day two, day three, day four, day five is about quenching as well. This is gonna be really, really useful because I am writing my thesis soon on quenching. You know, get all of the references down. Um, we had talks on fitting bulges today and how that relates to quenching, like compactification. The more compact you are, the more likely you are to be quenched. That was pretty cool. In other news, there was hummus. Lots and lots of hummus. Great day. Tired day. Okay, cool. Alright, it's day three. We have the morning off and we are going scuba diving. It is a valid form of networking on conferences on islands. <laughs> conference has been really really cool not only like super useful and you know I'm being really selfish because everything's really relevant to me and I'm writing up my thesis but also like the science presented has been amazing and then the discussion you get to have afterwards you know people are arguing points and saying oh but what about this this doesn't fit in with this idea and this doesn't fit in with this idea and it feels like you are really on the cutting edge of knowledge like we are the forefront of this field and I've really got that feeling at this conference that we really are pushing the boundaries that's the most fun part about science like what we don't know like i feel so lucky to be here and just around these people it's really cool what did you learn at this conference oh you can't do this to me <laughs> i can't do this to you <laughs> what did i learn What did you learn at this conference? Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, what did you learn at this conference? Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's too much to describe on here. <laughs> um, uh, probably too much to process right now. Um, I think the most important thing was kind of getting an idea on the connections between different subfields and the way that all of these different like mechanisms relate to each other. I learned that AGNs are not well understood, but everyone is trying to understand them. That makes me feel better because I did not know anything about these people. I've learned that the way that we think about what is needed for these transformations is very different depending on the redshift or the mass you're talking about. Yeah, um, So things like what does it mean to change topologies? I think it's very different for these different fields. And I think it's interesting to see how we can combine those and see how they're different. 
I learned that both compact uh, spheroids are the progenitors of the first passive galaxies and that compact disks are the progenitors of the first passive galaxies. <laughs> what is a galaxy transformation? Is it all morphological? Like, also, you know, what do we mean by uh, even mechanisms? Like, what is a mechanism? Is Are we focusing only on things that actually actively contribute to galaxies like AGN or Starburst or environmental quenching in the sense of flying into a bunch of gas or like are we thinking about processes that affect global populations because of very entrenched early time physics that you just can't avoid? What did you learn in this conference? That we really disagree on the different ways that things can quench and just what quenching means. <laughs> well, I learned a lot. I learned there's a lot of um, debate over quenching still. I did not realize how hotly contested quenching is, and I learned a lot about the fire simulations and the low mass, um, the low mass resolution that they're being able to achieve. The, the kind of the computational aspects of these simulations and the drawbacks and the improvements, and what they have kind of improved on from the last generation of the gadget. Shows. A ton of different things that we sometimes mean very different things when we say quenching in different subfields, and that's really important to know as I read papers in different things. Um, and also that we might mean different things by words like feedback and suppression. So I'm going to be careful about what I mean versus looking at what other people mean. Yeah. And I mean, I think about low redshift galaxies all the time, and so it's really neat to see all the high redshift results. Well, I guess I've learned that tying together the high and low redshift would be very important to understanding, especially the most massive galaxies and have a I learned a lot about being in a local organizing committee. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I hope this will be helpful in the future. <laughs> what did you learn at this conference? Uh, I learned that you cannot just draw a line on a plot that is at one redshift for an evolutionary sequence. You gotta take into account the fact that galaxies. Uh, they're just yeah. Things that you take for granted in the local group are completely opposite to the things you take for granted uh, at Redshift. Nice. At Redshift. <laughs> Any Redshift. <laughs> Any Redshift. <laughs> I learned uh, about secular processes, which I didn't know about. And I learned about local stuff. Local stuff. I really liked Rachel Beacon's talk about micromergers, counting stars, yeah. Yeah. all that local yeah. stuff. Did you learn this conference? I learned this conference. I also learned about local stuff, which I really liked. I think it was great to have a couple of people who studied the local universe handy. It was a lot of us who study things that are distant. Even things that are only a few hundred megaparsecs away tend to forget that there are actually stars and galaxies. So <laughs> yeah. it's good to have some around, some people around for reminders of that. It's important to choose your invited speakers carefully so that there are no jerks and that everybody has been very supportive. The culture has been really great. So I'm just loving it. Yeah. This is how you make a real good conference. Okay, so Dave, what did you learn at this conference? I learned how many young people are doing great work. No, I'm sure. The talks were crisp. And you have to have, this is more like a workshop than a conference because it, uh, in the world's best people are presenting uh, new results, most of which I was unaware of. Yes. So unless you go to one of these meetings, particularly a meeting like this, uh, every so often, like Katie needs to do it in another two years, we can't keep up. I mean, the pace of data reduction and writing is so quick. I learned that the galaxy is complicated. I learned that galaxy evolution is complicated. <laughs> Like she's complicated. You didn't know that before, huh? No. 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 <laughs> what did you learn at this conference? That quenching is hard, that galaxy evolution is hard, that selecting your sample properly is hard, and that a lot of people are doing a lot of creative and amazing things to do all of those things well and actually open our eyes to new avenues. What did I learn at this conference? I learned that everyone has an opinion for how they think the big picture will be and proving that is going to be very very difficult like define what you mean when you give a talk or you write a paper because it might be different to the view that other people have of what country you mean so with that in mind final goodbye to the beautiful Kathleen and I'll get the ferry